وهذا هو معالي السيد هاكان فيدان وزير خارجية تركيا لإلقاء كلمته فليتفضل His Excellency, Mr. President, distinguished heads of state and government, dear colleagues, Excellencies, this is a crucial juncture where bloodshed prevails over restraint and common sense. Last couple of weeks have already left an indelible mark in our minds. Many of us still find it difficult to believe what has been unfolding. Thousands of innocent civilians are losing their lives in front of our eyes. The situation in Palestine has always been a tragedy. Now it is turning into carnage. There can be no excuse or reason for inflicting such a collective and cruel suffering on human lives like the one happening in Gaza. We must be unequivocal in condemning and resisting loss of any single innocent life. International community has to calibrate its actions and messages at this highly critical point. Israel should be urged that the temporary so-called victories did not bring <clears throat> long-term security in the course of history. It will not bring this time too. Israel exploits the solidarity of some countries as an open check for unleashing a blind rage on Palestinians such a rage which even targets mosques and hospitals. On the other hand, I would like to remind that unconditional military aid to Israel or coercing regional countries to unrealistic and unsustainable plans serve nothing but deepening occupation. Because these policies omit, neglect, and ignore a vital part of the equation, the Palestinians. Insistence on such errors are in fact another sign that the current international order cannot produce solution to core problems. What this order produces is only erosion of universal values and distortion of facts on the ground. Up until now, Israel took advantage of this systemic failure. Israel distorts the sanctity of Masjid al-Aqsa and the status quo of the Muslim and Christian holy sites in Jerusalem, but brands it as religious tolerance. Israel grabs the lands, homes, and livelihoods of Palestinians in East Jerusalem and West Bank, but brands it as civilian settlements. Israel imprisons two million people in Gaza's narrow strip, unfit for decent human life, but calls it as a protection against terrorism. By dehumanizing Palestinian lives, Israel aims to normalize Palestinian suffering. <clears throat> we say never. Never for Palestinians, Palestinians, never for anybody else. <clears throat> if allowed, this crisis can spark wars of global scale through geographical escalation. But it can also serve as a ground for a just and lasting peace. Therefore, at this historic juncture, we have to set the track right. Turkey believes that a right track begins with the cessation of hostilities and unconditional humanitarian aid to Gaza. Simultaneously, we have to revitalize every effort to return to a peace process based on a two-state solution. An independent, sovereign, and contiguous state of Palestine along 1967 borders with East Jerusalem as its capital is not only a must for peace, it is also the strategic imperative for international security and stability. I am sure we all agree on this. However, it is not enough. We have to go beyond agreeing and start implementing this vision. Furthermore, there should be a guarantee mechanism for monitoring, verifying when needed, and forcing obligations of the parties in a just peace. Turkey remains ready to further develop this concept and share the responsibility for creating a dignified, just, and secure future for all. Our heartfelt gratitude goes to Egypt for this much timely gathering. Thank you very much.